Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. This is Tinola and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the process of me editing my Instagram photos. This video is going to be quite detailed for anyone that is interested in stepping their game up when it comes to editing pictures for social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. If you're a beginner, a pro, a human being wanting to learn how to edit your pictures better, then you definitely want to keep watching this video. <laughs> Welcome back people, this is Tino Ola. Once again, if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. On this channel, I share content on beauty, hair, healthy lifestyle. So you're free to subscribe to join the channel because every week I share videos on these topics. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome back. <laughs> it's always good to have you guys. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your pictures. We're going to be using an app that you can download on your phone right now if you don't have it. It's called Facetune and the second app that you can also use, which is called Lightroom. Both apps are free if you want to get them on your Play Store or your App Store. Some features in these apps are going to be limited if you don't subscribe to them. However, if you want to subscribe to them, they are not very expensive, especially Facetune, which is the first app that we're going to be using. I'm going to take you guys right now into my phone to show you what I have here on my screen, right here. This picture was taken with my Canon camera, Canon M50. That's what I used to take this picture when I did my last video. So if you guys haven't seen that video, please check out that makeup video. I'm going to link it right up here. I sent it to my phone and here on my phone I went to my gallery to get the picture and now I am going to Facetune. This picture I would say is already looking nice. There isn't so much editing that I need to do with this picture but if you guys want to see a more detailed editing on how to go from a really crappy picture like this one right here to this okay look at the before and the after if you guys want that then let me know in the comment box below i'm going by the way i'm using an android phone samsung a8 but if you have an iphone you can also use an iphone for this so with my pictures the first thing i do on facetune is to whiten them i cannot do without whitening my pictures and that's because most of the time the light i use to video and take my pictures is usually more warm than cool and it makes my eyeballs look quite reddish i don't know if you guys understand that but as you can see my eyeballs aren't so white so so i go in to whiten it and then i increase the level of the whiteness to the highest because i always want my eye my eyes to look white in the pictures so this is the before as you guys can see So what I'm just doing right now is to whiten my eyeballs. I usually zoom the picture to make sure I'm able to whiten my eyeballs very well because I just use my fingers and then I go on my screen to whiten it. So now that my eyeballs are whitened, as you guys can see, there's a huge difference. This now looks better. The next step is to scroll through and go to touch up. Touch up, I don't use touch up all the time, but if my pictures are really bad, then I use touch up. You might want to adjust your eyes, your eye bags, if you have any. You might want to adjust the glow. I don't go with glow because glow is too much. It's usually too much. I like my pictures looking really natural. I like them looking like I just took them with a camera and I'm uploading them. I don't like them looking too edited. When I do my YouTube thumbnail, however, I have a different way of editing them. Most of the things that I don't do when I edit my Instagram pictures, I do them when I do my thumbnails. So for YouTube thumbnails, if you want a tutorial on how to edit YouTube thumbnails, cashy thumbnails, guys, let me know in the comment box below. All right, the next step is details. Most of the time I do whiten, I do details. Those two steps, I do not miss them. 
some features on facetune like i said are not free but i have a subscription and it's about three dollars a month i mean if you don't want to subscribe that's totally fine you are still going to get a lot from the app for the longest time i did not subscribe to them i was using the free version and it does it does good okay so when it comes to the details i really like to add some details to my hair i always add details to my hair and i add details to my eyes to my eyebrows sometimes to my lips sometimes to the highlighted parts of my face it all depends on that picture mm -hmm. but basically i always add details to my hair so that's why i'm going in now to add details to my eyebrows I'm going to add some details also to my lips. So this picture itself is from a beauty video. So I'm trying to heighten the look, the makeup look. When it comes to background, I rarely do add backdrops. I'm usually okay with my background. And if I'm not okay with my background, I'm able to, you know, tweak it here and there. I'm able to turn the background into something that is acceptable. So I don't add backdrops. Also, if you're using the free version, you're not going to be able to use the backdrop. So makeup, honestly, I'm loving my makeup for this particular picture. But then, I mean, just to show you guys what you can do with the makeup, you can go to add some blush, eyeliner, eyeshadow. Gosh, you can do so much with this app. Honestly, like you can transform a completely crappy picture into a bomb picture with this app. In my contents on Instagram, by the way, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Please follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put my handle right there. It is this is Tino Ola. Please follow me on Instagram. So based on my content, my personality, myself, I don't like my pictures looking too edited. I don't like them looking too perfect. So I know my makeup isn't too perfect. I know my my face whatever isn't very perfect so i don't do too much with my editing to make it perfect however like i said when i do my youtube thumbnails i exaggerate the pictures but for my social media pictures i do not exaggerate them whatever edit you add to your pictures you can always increase it to the highest or you can always reduce it it depends on how much of that effect that you want to show on the picture. If you want it to show a lot and make a huge difference, or you just want a subtle difference, you can always choose that with Facetune. So you can choose to add some colors if you want it more. I'm going to sharpen this image because it's a bit blurry. So just to heighten the look. And then I'm going to add some structure. So I go in with shadow. Shadow has to be my favorite effect on any picture i love shadow so much it gives it everything i want and then i go to temperature i mean my skin tone temperature depends on your skin tone my skin tone is warmer than cooler and warm looks good on me but then sometimes i'm quite neutral when it comes to pictures i can go with either of them so once we're done with facetune i'm okay with what the picture looks like i'm going to go into lightroom honestly with this picture i can literally upload it like this because I like what Facetune has done to this picture and this picture doesn't have so much editing to do based on what I like but then I'm just going to show you what Lightroom looks like I also use this in my photo editing before I upload on Instagram so if you're going to certain aesthetics or you're going with a certain photo edit that you already use in the past you can always come to Lightroom. Lightroom has the best. You can always save your editing and you can apply it to a new photo, which will save you time. And it will give you consistency with your aesthetics. These are presets that are already saved. Some I created myself and some I got for free from Lightroom. So it all depends on whichever aesthetic you're going with. You can always add all that in lightroom and when it comes to instagram i know people are really keen on having a certain aesthetics so when people check your page on instagram you have a certain color a certain way that your pictures look like which is good it's good people like it but i mean if you're not into that it's also cool 
So when it comes to the lens, I usually go with Sony or I go with Canon. For this picture, it's not going to make much difference, but in other pictures, you will see like a huge difference when you change the lens. You can always change the lens of your pictures. Lightroom has superb features. Like when it comes to editing your Instagram pictures, if you have Facetune and Lightroom, you're good. I'm still going to sharpen this picture a little bit because like I said, it's quite blurry. Um, the temperature, like I said, you can go from cool to warm. When you go cool, when you go cool, it looks a bit white and then it turns blue. And then you can go to warm, which is more orangey, yellowish. But then for this picture, temperature, I think I'm going to be a bit cool. Let's see, yeah, that looks okay. And then the tint, I'm just going to change the tint. Usually I use green for tint. So I'm just going to use minus one. I always do vibrance, you know, I prefer vibrance to saturation. So even when it's not necessary, I increase the vibrance and I reduce the saturation. So you can always change other things like sharpen it a bit more, give it more details, reduce the noise. You can add grain to your photos. I know a lot of people like adding grain to their Instagram photos. It looks cool if you do it minimally. And you can also like do auto to just see what it's suggesting, if you like it or not. If you don't, then you just go back, you undo your edit. And mm, we're almost done, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Let me know down below. So for exposure in this picture, I'm just going to leave that for now because I like the exposure, the current one. And shadow, I told you guys, shadow is everything. Like if you are dark skin, shadow is everything. I love shadows. I want my face to have, you know, the darker bronzy look. Shadows go very well with all that. And highlights too, you can always play around it if you want your pictures really highlighted. I like whites too, but it depends on the pictures. Sometimes white, I can go like really low on white. I can go high on white. It all depends on the picture. Blacks, I don't really use blacks that much, especially when I use shadows. I don't really use black, but yeah, I'll really use black for this picture because I want my hair a bit darker. My eyes blacker <laughs> i hope this video isn't too long or tiring or too much i hope you guys are able to understand and you're following me so there are other features that you can dive into on lightroom like curve you can change so many things on lightroom but then i mean if you're just a beginner just go with this basic ones the popular ones the ones that you're more familiar with the ones that are easier to change this is our final look this is where we are coming from okay this is where we are at this is the before and this is the after before and after before and after can you guys see the difference okay let me know if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see more comprehensive more detailed tutorials on how to edit your social media pictures instagram pictures let me know if you guys want to see like bomb editing where you change the, your features, your the shape of your nose, the shape of your eyes, the shape of your, your eye color, your mouth. Let me know if you guys want to see all that fun stuff, okay? I can take you through that process. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Here on this channel, I share content on hair, beauty and healthy lifestyle hit the notification bell beside the subscribe button that way you get notified every time i release videos and guess what it's every single week <laughs> all right guys that will be all i hope to see you on my next video or in my other videos check them out click click bye